Hey everybody, today is Sunday, August 16th, 2015. Have to get the date right because somebody corrected me the other day that my dates were wrong. So I just got back from church and I had a really good service that once again filled me up for the week I needed because I find myself just getting so low during the week where I start to think about my circumstances. But I know that it's well. And I'm just happy to report today that I have less pain in my body, less inflammation in my body. And I was even getting pain all of a sudden in my feet. It went from my back hurting me on a scale of 1 to 10 to 8 and a 9 for like two weeks straight ever since I found my mom. And then for the last week, it would start going down to like a 5, a 4. And now it's like on a 2. Like it's a little bit achy, but doesn't stop me from doing what I need to do. Um, then my feet started hurting. Like when I stepped on the ground, my feet started hurting. Then it hurt when I had to sit down. It's like all my muscles and joints, everything getting inflamed. But they're all one by one, just going away. And I'm just claiming my healing. So now, my latest thing that I'm right now, I'm just working, asking God to work on me with my mind. So many things. And one thing is accepting the things that I cannot change. I am such a control freak. Always trying to not just control forward thinking and God has taught me I can't think. The opposite of forward thinking is patience. So I'm learning patience through this whole process. Um, then there's the whole thing about, so I got forward thinking and patience and trying to control situations. And people. And God is just showing me so much that it's about him. Him, him, him. And it's not about other people. You can't control them. All you can do is control yourself and focus on him. You could pray for them, but you can't control them. So, you know, it's a little hurtful for a lot of things. There are things where there are people, you know, certain even family, like, you know, Friends, uh, so much. It's like, uh, okay. But family, when certain people haven't reached out to you, and by now, you know, whatever is in my life, people read it and they see it. They know. They might not like or comment, but they read and they watch. I have no doubt about it. God showed me a long time ago. And you know what's amazing about that is that God told me that I'll be preaching and teaching and talking to the masses. I never thought. I thought it was going to be about my life and the hardships that have gone through my life, but not about cancer. So, you know, it's not our own understanding, our own thoughts. It's God's thoughts and God's ways. So with that, you know, it's, I'm learning, stop expecting so much from people. You expect, just <sighs> expect the unexpected. You know, it's about what, the more I frustrate myself with worrying about that, the way people treat me, the way I think people should love me, the way I think things should be done, the way I think people should call me or see me or whatever it is, I got to like let that go. Because when I think about that, I think about, well, you know, I have a big mouth and I'm rough, but I'm so loving kind and giving. I try because I hold myself accountable to God. And so I have to remember that I'm Penelope. I'm not Jane, John, Jack, Susie, and Jane. You know, I, I have to remember that God gave me this heart. He gave me this walk. And I can't be like everybody else. And everybody else can't be like me, which is good. Because could you imagine if there was like a whole bunch of me running around? I always want to see like little pennies like running around a sidebar. I want to see like a whole bunch of them. Like if there was like 10 of me, like I mean like duplicates of me. Like if there were like, what would that be? Um, five is pent. What is 10? Decathlon. So deca. There'll be decuplets of me. Whole bunch of me. I would like to see. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting! You know, I don't know why I'm getting all excited. <laughs> it's just how weird I am. But anyhow, 
You know, I'm just asking God to take away the hurt, the pain of just expectations of others. Because expectations of others is a unrealistic expectations of others can be a serious downfall and sore and pain. We have to allow people to be who they are and God does the fixing, not us, not me. God does the fixing. We can lead people certain things and give them good advice and good wisdom, but God, it's God who does all that. And the more I keep on missing that mark and not understanding that, the more I keep getting frustrated and hurt. And today I'm dealing with a couple of things that are really dear dear to me and hurt that I'm dealing with, but I'm just leaving it to God, you know. It's heartbreaking, but it's up to God, you know. Like I said, it's expectations. You think that because when you're related to somebody, they'll do certain things or act certain ways or be certain things and do certain things. No. We're all human nature. We're all human flesh, flesh of sin. And we're just, we're, we're born in sin and wickedness. We have to practice love, practice selflessness, practice giving, practice being kind. It doesn't come easily. So people will say, oh, Penny, you're so, now, first of all, people do say this to me, so stop it. Oh, Penny, you're so sweet. You're so giving. You're so kind. It's practice because if it's by myself, I'm not giving, I'm not kind, and I could be any of those other things, but I choose to serve God because it says, choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. Now, you either can serve God or Satan, one or the other. There is no in between. There's no other person like Billy Bob. It's God or Satan. So I choose God. So I have to practice it. And I fail a lot at it. You know, you can ask my husband, I fail a lot at it because I can yell and argue and do all those things. But I have a humble spirit and I'm accountable to God. And I always think about God and being right with God. And I don't want to be on this earth all this time, going through all this mess with everybody and miss the mark with God. Because in the end, that's where I want to be with him. Now, I'm not saying that's my end because, you know, I pray God long life. Long life, and even this cancer is not unto death. And I feel a healing in my body and a renewing. And I've got to go tomorrow to get a bone scan done um, that makes sure that cancer isn't spreading my bones. We rebuke cancer spreading in my bones in the name of Jesus. No, I have inflammation and arthritis. That's what I'm feeling. There's nothing else spread anywhere else. In the name of Jesus, I claim that. And the chemo. Yeah, I'm reading booklets and reading blogs on chemo side effects, but God favors me. I'm not going to have those kind of things. And even this has got to go. And isn't it pretty? Gosh, this is pretty. But that's vanity. See? Look at that. That's vanity. That's Satan. I keep thinking it's vain. This is vain. But naked I came into this world. Naked I'm going to leave. So even if I lose all that to lose, look at my gain is Christ. So, you know, just keep praying for me. It's working. I have my low days and I have my days that aren't so low. And I have faith that I'm a believer. That's why Jesus said, and he said, Lord, increase my faith. It wouldn't have been asked to God if it wasn't meant that they're a believer. I believe, but increase my faith. I believe, but increase my faith. So I believe, but increase my faith. So thank you for listening to this long video. It's nine minutes. I try to make it shorter. Uh, choking. You know I can talk. But I love you guys. Thank you so much. To God be the glory. God bless. Survivor mode all day, every day. Even when I don't feel it, I'm still surviving. And in survivor mode. Amen.